the kids' church today. Hello. It is today. It is today. And it is a good day. True facts. And you are here. Mm -hmm. And we're holding things. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Uh, this is this is Gabby, and this hey. is Isaac. Isaac. Um, and behind you, if you look behind you, well, not not behind you, but behind That's the camera terrifying. is. <laughs> if you look behind you, <laughs> Ella's there. No, Hi. Ella's. Ella's behind us. She, she's over there. She's hiding. Um, and today is going to be a fantastic day of Kids Church. Um, but first we're going to play a game. And then we're going to tell you exactly what's happening in Kids Church with these things. But because these things go to... Without further ado, let's put the things in and hope okay. you can understand it. Okay, just before, if you can't understand, uh, Kids Church is going to go like normal. But we're just going to talk like this. So if you don't know what's going on, just skip until the next part. Yeah. Just to have a look. Have a little look. Alright, ready? Go. Go! Oh, hang on. Yeah! Yeah. Hello, everybody. We are back <laughs> from underneath the table. Underneath the table. Okay, so we're uh -huh. gonna start a game and we're gonna get points for saying the game. Uh -huh. Ella! Yes! Can you translate that? You should get in subtitles. Yeah. I get, I get subtitles. Subtitles. Here's a subtitle. Subtitle. Like he. Subtitle. Subtitle. I'm trying. I got an accent. <laughs> <laughs> Ella, can you kick score, please? I can kick score. Yes. Ella, I got a kid that's gone. Subtitle. You want to go first? I need to go first. Okay. I go first. I got doodle in my teeth. I don't like, I don't want to do this one. Not a good one? No, no, no. Okay, next one. No, no, no. Okay. Um, you have to, okay, so he has to figure out what I'm saying. I have to figure out what you're saying. And you can't laugh. And you lose. I got dry lips. You should have got lip on. I could lip on. Oh. I got lip on my chin. So, I love what you say. Gabby says she's got lip on, on her chin and mm -hmm. then you're and okay. You should have put it on, otherwise it gets sticky. Um, yeah. yeah, okay. Hang on, right. I'm gonna get Ella a microphone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, you don't need subtitles, I don't know. Okay, I have to say the phrase. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh not the dinner. You're gonna cut. Oh, oh I said. Oh, no, I got the thing! I know! Oh, no! This is, this is too much. Just don't do it, it's so easy. Just don't do it, it's so easy. It's so easy not to do it. You just don't do it, you just. And you're fine. Okay, go! Okay. Wait, I need the tissues. I think you're gonna cut this to that. No, you're not, I don't like Alright. Okay, alright, I got some tissues because I did the diddling. Translate? Okay. Um, he's got tissues because he did dribble. Dribble. Yeah, nasty. Oh no, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate us. Okay. Uh, this is the first. Hacking at the wrong tree. What? <laughs> Say it again. Hacking <laughs> at the wrong tree. I feel like I need to have this out for when I reply to you <laughs> because otherwise it's just us talking like Hada, 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 hada. <laughs> It's sunny It's sunny? It's sunny It's sunny uh, Alright, go, say your thing again because I want to try and guess it Okay Barking at the wrong tree Parking at the wrong tree? No, barking up the wrong tree Yeah, ding 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 Yeah, ding 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 How does it go? Ding 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 Oh dear. I'm gonna hide all my all my yucky <laughs> tissues behind this thing. Alright, I'm gonna you can take your thing out and I'll you gotta put it in. I can still see your tissues, they're nasty. Hey girl! Hello the daughter I can zack it's like that to hide the Hide it on the girl What? Hide it on the girl eye. I the grapevine. Yeah! Oh, wow. I'm so impressed with you! Thank you. You, right, you want point, I don't point. You, you just... 
Okay. We'll have points. So okay. like if you get if you win you get the card and then but Ella's actually counting. Hey, you didn't win that one. No, but I won the last one. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is mine. Yuck. Uh kangaroos loose in the top paddock. Kangaroos loose in the top paddock. Yeah. Boom. Alright. That could have been disgusting. I feel like it's a bit. Uh, uh, it got stuck on there. Oh, no. See. Oh, no. See. See. Nice. See. The teeth. Nice. See. Okay, say the words. Okay. Did it! Did it! No, no one, one wants to be defeated. How the time not be strong is a fact. It doesn't matter who's wrong or right. Did you Just laugh? No. You didn't laugh. I didn't laugh. Okay, you So leave. I win. I have to make her laugh. You have to make me laugh. But she didn't laugh. Okay. Oh, I don't right, laugh. Alright, let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, two more inch. Okay. Oh, I don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you win, you win at home if you if you guess it before us. Um I don't have to do this one, like <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back when Gabby has a better one. <laughs> Alright. We're back, Gabby has a better one. <laughs> Alright. Uh-huh. And uh huh. <laughs> Let's try it again. Uh-huh. And I'll huff, and I'll lay your house down. I'm pretty sure I know this. it's the little piggy one. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Yeah. But it sounds like a I'll huff and I'll huff and I'll hi ha ha. Yeah, you got it. That was pretty good. Oh my god. Hallelujah. Flatter like a little digging. What? Flatter like a little digging. Something about a lizard drinking. Flat hard like a lizard drinking. Flat hard like a lizard drinking. Flat hard like a lizard drinking. Lizard drinking? Water like a lizard drinking? Flat hard like a lizard drinking. Just got a dad night. I don't know. Flat hard like a lizard drinking. Ah. Uh. Can you say slow? Clutter. All I hear is clutter. What is clutter? Clutter. Cake. Pasta? Clutter like a lizard drinking. Lizard drinking? Clutter like a lizard drinking. I don't know what the first one is. Clutter like a lizard drinking. <laughs> Do you know what they're saying, Ella? I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to try really hard. Flat. Out, loud, Flat out, like out. a lizard drinking. Yay! I heard that phrase. Flat out, like a lizard drinking. <laughs> yeah, that was gross. That was real gross. That was disgusting. I thought when I okay when I first saw these, I thought these were supposed to go up and down. <laughs> but it doesn't fit. What the heck? <laughs> okay. This is a funny one. It's a funny one. It says to sit on your hands. I'm not gonna do that. No. Nope. Uh, I have to describe Wait. a yeah, do that using the head. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... You sound like a bee. <laughs> or okay. a fly. Okay, I gotta describe this, this one to you. Okay, so there's ocean. There is ocean, yes. There's the beach. There's the... A leech? <laughs> oh, a beach. There's a sand. There's a sand. And this is Sydney. That's a Sydney. It's, it's the ocean and the water in Sydney. Ocean and the water in and Sydney. And then our ocean and our sand in Sydney. Ocean and the sand in Sydney. Which, which one is it? Each ocean and sand is it? The coast. No, no, no. No, wait, what? It starts with the... The with Pacific with Ocean. A e, with an E. The... <laughs> harbour. No, no, no. It starts with a... Uh, 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 <laughs> I can't make the sound like that. It starts with a... Oh, uh, a what? A, 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 a B. Beach. 
Yeah, that's the first word. Something eat. I feel like the sand in Sydney. Sand? I Sandy think. Beach. No, no, no. In Sydney. Palm Beach. With the lifeguards. And the TV show. Border Patrol, no, Surf no, no. Patrol, no, Beach, so Bondi oh, Beach. Yes, it. Bondi Beach. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a good description. Thank you, Charlie. Hi, hi. Alright, last one, last one, last one. Then we got to get that. That's okay. I don't know what I say. Okay. <laughs> Sit on my okay. Oh, not, not for me. How are you? You go outside! Hold on to the handle, right? And then I go school down the street. Riding a bike? You go out on the street as a skate park. Yeah, a skateboard. No, like two wheels. Bike. No. Scooter. Snow wheels. Yeah, a scooter. The what? Randall scooter. Razor. Razor scooter! Yeah, yeah. Oh, you see so smart! I saw a big, a big brain. Okay. Wow, that was, um, was this the very last one? I think so. Very last one. Okay. And then it's kids' church time. Okay. I don't know answer this one. <laughs> um, better oh, be a no. good one. This one's a cool one. And I can't do it. I don't have this. Should we both do one that they, that we, that we say and then they have to, like, message us and then... That's kind of key, yeah. All right, what do you reckon, Ella? Yes. I don't have the I don't have the facilities for this one, they can. Okay, we're not gonna do one, and then they come to you, and then you have to tell us if you understand. Can you? I'm gonna translate. No. They they are both going to do one for you, and you need to no. try and work out what they are saying and send it in to us mm. so that we can find out if you got it right. And then you get the answer and the prize. You get the answer and the prize. Can you have to do that one? Okay, okay. Ready? One. Two. two. One, two, two three. Da 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 Yes, so you're singing. Tell us what song you're singing. What, what song are they singing, everybody? Oh, hi. Tell us. It's and an and a chair as well. I reckon before we go to praise and worship in the rest of Kids Church, yes. we should sing the In Kids TV theme song. And then that There's can no be. Words. No, just like. Dun. But in, in a thing. Oh, but it doesn't have words. There's no words. It doesn't make sense. Let's sing the theme song. Let's sing Okay. La, 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 la. That was silly. That was stupid. <laughs> so, there's no words to that song. Rewind, rewind. Yeah, there's no words to that song. No, it's just us going, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, let's sing as Aaron now. Okay, we'll go back and say, go to Kid Church. No, you can sing. Uh, so, uh, tell us what time uh, uh, So, go back to the. I don't know, let's just sing your song. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming to the beginning of Kids Church. Now it's time to go to the next part of Kids Church where there's going to be a special message to work around the game. And then the message for Hailey. Yeah, Hailey. Hailey. And Hailey, you don't understand her at all. Hailey doesn't understand her. She's sick earlier. She's uh, she oh, learns, get working seat. and good. She owed her natural experience. The sticky. It's the good sticky. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we come back and then we go to kiss us again. Okay, thank you. Bye. Turned it all around Where I was hurt
morning, guys. I'm Hayley, and I am so excited to share the word with you today. Today, we're going to talk about prayer. So let's check out the story of Peter in prison and keep your eye out for where prayer comes into it. Peter was arrested and put in jail. Sixteen of King Herod's soldiers guarded Peter. Sixteen! Now that's maximum security. But Peter's friends did not give up. They prayed and prayed for Peter's release. The night before Peter was to be put on trial, he was chained between two soldiers. Two more soldiers guarded the door. Peter slept. Suddenly, an angel appeared, and Peter's prison cell was bright with light. Quick, get up, the angel said. The chains immediately fell off Peter's hands. The angel said, get dressed. Put on your sandals and your cloak, then follow me. I don't like to be woken up in the middle of the night, but I think I'd be fine with this. Peter obeyed, but he did not understand what was happening. He thought he was dreaming. The angel led Peter past the first guard post. They walked past the second guard post. When they reached the iron gate into the city, they opened by itself. Peter followed the angel to the next street, and then the angel disappeared. Peter said, now I know God has sent his angel to rescue me from Herod. As soon as Peter realized this, he went to the house of Mary, John Mark's mother, where his friends were praying. Peter knocked on the door of the gate. A servant named Rhoda came to answer. When Rhoda heard Peter's voice, she was so excited that she ran back inside and left Peter standing outside. You're crazy, Peter's friends told Rhoda when she announced who was outside. It's his angel, they said. Meanwhile, still outside, Peter kept on knocking. When his friends finally opened the door, they were amazed. Peter told his friends how God rescued him from prison. Tell James and the others, Peter said. Then he went away to a safe place. What a great story. When I look at that story, there are a few things that stand out to me. First, Peter was in a really tough situation. Like, not only was he in prison, but he had a whole heap of guards against him. It wasn't just not good, it was really bad. And it seemed like there actually wasn't an answer or any way that he could fix it. Second, his friends never gave up. They didn't just pray, but they kept praying. It wasn't like there was a tough situation and they said a quick prayer and they kept on going with their lives. The story said that they prayed and prayed. Even when his friends had no control over the situation, they trusted God and they prayed to him to help, and he did. The third thing that I noticed when I look at this story was that Peter fully trusted God. Even when it seemed crazy, he listened to God and trusted that he knew best and that he would look after him. Even when he didn't understand God's plan, he still followed him. Now, sometimes in life, We might find ourselves in situations where we're a bit like Peter, times where things look really bad, like there's no answer. Now, hopefully that's not being stuck in prison, but there's other things in life that come up that way. We might find ourselves needing to trust God and step out in faith and be confident that even when things seem terrible or strange, that God is in control. And sometimes we also might find ourselves in the position of Peter's friends in a situation where it seems like there's nothing nothing that can be done other than to just pray to God. Now, it's in these times that we need to rely on God, to cry out to him, not just once, but to continue to pray and ask God to help us and trust that he's going to do that. Now, when I heard this story, it made me think a little bit of missions. When it comes to missions, we can do things to be involved in God's plan. Okay, We can go on a mission trip. But that's pretty tricky when we're young and also tricky when it's almost impossible at the moment to travel anywhere. We can also give a faith promise to help out with the great missions projects that are happening. And it's great to be involved in both of those ways when we can. But one of the coolest, easiest and most powerful ways that we can be involved is through our prayer. We can pray for people all over the world to know God. And even if it feels like we're so far away and we can't intervene, God is so much greater than that. And like in this story, he can do miraculous things if we choose to partner with him in prayer. Now, this got me thinking a bit more about praying. And I really like acronyms because they help us to remember things a bit more easily. So here is one for the word pray. 
So first off, we know the letters, P-R-A-Y. Let's go through them. When we pray, there are things that we can remember and think about. The first thing is that when we come to pray and talk to God, we should start by praising God for all that he's done in our lives and around us. There are so many things for us to be grateful for. And when we start off praying, it's so good to start by saying, God, thank you. Thank you for all of the awesome things in my life. Because one, it's nice. We're saying nice things to God. And it also reminds us of how great and powerful and amazing God is. The next thing that I love about prayer is that when we pray, it reminds us. So there's our R, R for reminds. It reminds us that God is in control. And when I'm worried or anxious about something, then I choose to pray about it. And it helps me to remember, there's another R, that God is on my side and that he is all powerful, that he has it sorted and he can help me no matter what it is that I'm praying for. Okay, so we're up to, we've done P, we've done R, we're up to A. Another thing to remember when we pray is to ask, to ask God to help where we can't. We can ask God to act in places where we don't have the answers. How cool is that? When we can't fix it, when we can't see the answer, we can trust and ask God and know that he has the answer. Okay, now the final thing that we need to remember when we pray is, so we've got praise God, remind ourselves, ask God, and my last, the word for why is actually just yes. Okay, it's yes. Say yes to God's plan and do whatever his answer is. Now, I know that sounds a bit funny. Sometimes God answers our prayers in all different ways. It's sometimes not exactly as we expected. But we, like Peter did in the story, we need to have a yes in our hearts to do whatever it is that God wants us to do. So if we can remember to praise God for all he's done, remind ourselves that he is great and on our side, ask him for help and have a yes in our heart regardless of his answer, we can have prayer that brings change and has impact like Peter's friends in the story. And who doesn't want to have an impact like that in the world? Thanks so much for listening, guys. Hey, well, how good was that message? Um, if you want to get to know about Jesus, head to the video in the description below and check it out because he will tell you a bunch of things about God and how you can get to know him for yourself. Awesome. So Team The Watts won the overall championship last week, but we're here for a third week just for the fun of it because we have a very fun game. Now, as you can see, we have some M&Ms and some Skittles in a bowl. They're mixed together. We have 12 of each in each bowl, and our lovely contestants have some beautiful masks on so they cannot see what's going on. They need to sort out their Skittles and their M&Ms the fastest to win. Are you ready? Yes. Get set. Go. Go, go. Doesn't matter. Look like they have some different techniques. Faith is, Faith is sorting them out on the table, and everyone else is sorting them out in the bowls. Well, let's see. Let's see how they're going. Oh, Jed has decided to take Faith's technique and sort them out on the table. They have a lot of confused them with each other. Well, let's see. Ryan looks like he's onto something. Mia's going really, really quickly. Oh, Mia's on the table. Oh, Faith and Mia, don't lose yours. Oh, Ryan's smelling them. He's doing the smell technique. See if we can separate them there. All right, let me see how they're going. Oh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Wow, all right, we're getting somewhere. When you think you're done, just say you're done. I'm gonna pick that one up for you. Done, all right, stop. Yes, you may take them. All the M&Ms on the table, 
Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, well, Ryan, you definitely won. So well done, team. The what? I'm sorry, girls. You've done such a good job. But good news is, you get to eat your M and M's and Skittles. And boys, have a prize for you. Chocolate Santas, because what? we need to get.